Sure. I'm Craig. This is Nick. You guys all know Nick, right? Yeah. Welcome to the freezer. We've got a great show for you tonight. We have a couple great guests. We have Cliff Rolls, who has a show on AM 1220 called Talk of Suncoast. Or is it Talk of the Suncoast? The Suncoast, yes. Okay. So we've got Cliff Rolls. And we have... We have a gentleman by the name of Chonger Daniel, who is a biotherapist and healer. Ooh. And I think there's going to be a little bit of audience participation tonight, so it should be fun. And of course, as you all know, we have some new sponsors. And we also have an addition to the set tonight, which is uh, kind of in the making. We have a tiki bar. Ooh. And uh, this ties in with one of our new sponsors, which is Club Escapes. And they have the biggest tiki bar on the west coast of Florida. Which is nice. And we have, the, and we have the smallest. Speak for yourself. Or I have the smallest. So account. as the show uh, goes on, not tonight, but throughout the season, we'll have a nice bartender there from Club Escapes, and we'll, she'll be making drinks, and it'll be fun. Why does it have to be a she? Because that's what I ordered. <laughs> and then we also have another club uh, sponsor us, sponsoring us called Chrome. And Woo! everybody that attends the show, like you guys, gets to go to Chrome afterwards. This is on Monday nights. You go to Chrome right after the taping, and you get free drinks, and you get to watch our show and Monday Night Football. Okay? Okay. So uh, let's move on with the show. We, have, uh, we had a little problem here at the freezer a little while ago, a few days ago. You know, we're not in the best neighborhood, and you guys might have seen the freezer van around town. Has anybody seen the freezer van? Yeah. There's a picture of it. We'll cut to that. Well, it was stolen. Uh, yeah. Say it isn't so. No. It's so. So we had to bring in our own show Mountie to take care of it, our own little version of Frontier Justice here. We're lucky to have him. We are. So let's cut to some tape and see what happened. Let's take it away, show Mountie. What's a four-letter word for rooster? Hey, you know, when are we going to see the van? When's the freezer van going to be done? It's done. Well, where is it? It's out front. You didn't see it? No, I just came in. There's no van. Yeah, you can't miss it. What do you mean, there's no van? There's no van. I'll show you. Whoa. No van. No. Somebody stole the van. Oh, man. Well, you know what we need to do? Show Mountie. Afternoon, fellas. What's going on? Okay, this is the Mountie. Uh, it seems that the freezer van has been stolen. Craig and Nick have told me to go out and find this vehicle. So that's what I'm doing right now. Mountie is on the job. Let's go. Let's get you. Excuse me, sir. I'm the Mountie from the Freezer Show. I'm the Mountie with the Freezer Show, and we've lost our vehicle. Have you guys seen this vehicle? Someone stole it. You can't help me. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. You have not? I have not. Excuse me, sir. I'm the Mountie from the Freezer Show. What do you know? I've seen it right down the street. This street right here? Yes, sir. Down that way or this way? Down that way. You seen this vehicle? I have it. Right yeah. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> See ya. Have you seen this vehicle? No, I haven't. You haven't seen it anywhere? Who yeah. hasn't seen it? The postman's seen it. Mike hasn't seen it. I need your help. I'm the Mountie from the Freezer. Have you seen the van? Have you seen it? <sighs> you know how hard I'm working for you, Nicky? Well, he's out there trying. We'll be checking back in with um, Show Monty as the show progresses to see how he's progressing. Right now, we'll take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with our first guest, Cliff Rolls. Take it away.
little horn? Ducky, what is no, that? No, that's the Franken trumpet. Really? Yeah. Skin, is that something you made yourself? <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, out of many different... It's called the Franken horn. The Franken horn. Very nice. Hold it up so the camera can see it. Whoa. Welcome back to the freezer. Okay, welcome back to the freezer. Let's, uh, oh, one thing I want to mention. Rico's Pizza is supplying pizza tonight. Are you guys enjoying Rico's? And, of course, free beer from Budweiser. Beer. That's good. So smooth. Let's bring out our first guest. Uh, our first guest is Cliff Rolls. He, is a, um, he has a radio show on AM 1220 called Talk of the Sun Coast. So let's give a nice big warm welcome to Cliff Rolls. Welcome, Cliff. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for inviting out. me. And I understand you, uh, not understand, but I remember you've had uh, Nick on your show. Yes, right? I had the pleasure of interviewing Nick as well a few months ago. That was part of the trade. That's the only yeah. reason why, you know. <laughs> you, he had me on the show you because show I offered I'll show you mine kind of Well, thing. sure. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what's talk of the Sun Coast? What's that all about? Well, basically it was um, brought into being to feature and interview the people that make this Southwest Florida and this community so interesting. Um, when I started it, it was a guest-orientated show. It oh, was really? sort of a, a talk show that... Um, read articles out of the newspaper, what's new in Sarasota. And I had the idea to bring on a guest today, someone out of the community mm -hmm. who plays a role in the community, someone who uh, works here, um, contributes to making it such a beautiful town. And um, I've been very fortunate. In the last uh, year, I've done about 300 uh, interviews with 300, wow. over 300 people. Do you have one person on per one day? One person a day, and uh, there'll be a, a, a very topical telephone interview at the top of the program, like um, when you guys started this, for example. But most of the time, I'll take the tr you know, uh, my time um, choosing the guests. Okay. Months, m at the moment, it's months in advance. So what and is it on? It's on from 2 to 3 every day. And 12, 20 on 1220 a.m. AM. Okay. Um, we broadcast from Main Street. A lot so of you, you all know where that is. You can watch the interview, right? Yeah, you have yes. A window there, right? If you walk past, it's between uh, Sonnet and Kennedy, just three doors down from the Gator Club. Um, we have a showcase showroom that we um, do the broadcasting from. So yes, you can bang on the window, make faces, wave, or you know, right. and try and mess in, with the show. Well, it's broadcast out onto the street as well, so you can oh, listen to it okay. from the street as well. So I don't know how you do it every day. I mean, we have a, a lot of trouble doing a weekly show here. But well, I find that I've only just scratched the surface, Craig. I'm just really, f I, I keep finding very, very interesting people yeah. who, who come on and, and tell me, everyone here has a story to tell. Right. And it's um, just a matter of, of sitting there with them every, you know, every day, finding out exactly where the people come from, what motivates them, and, and obviously their contribution to Sarasota. Okay. And okay. What's your story? Uh, <laughs> Where did you come from? You're from England? Well, why do you, t yeah, I was say, you talk You like talk funny? Weird. I talk why funny. Why do you talk like that? I, well, I was born in England, yes, um, and went to uh, college there. And then when I was about 21, 22, I went to Germany, um, hopping a skip over the channel. Sure. Started working in Cologne and spent 18 years there, and then 10 years after that in Hamburg. I was in the music business. I was promoting pop and rock right. artists. And okay. Doing... Um, doing concerts. Doing... Well, I was accompanying them to press and promo. Any bands and, that we would know? Um, Elton John, Bon Jovi, um, yeah. Kiss, Def Leppard, yeah. Scorpions. Um, about 130 okay. in 16 years. Yeah, 16 years I did it. Up until the millennium. And if you fact. go to, what's the name of your website? Um, Newstalk1220.com. Newstalk1220. You can go uh, to his website and check out pictures of Cliff with all these famous people. That's right. You click on my banner and on the, on the Newstalk1220, and you'll go through to my website, and I've, I've posted lots of pictures up there. Right. Yes. Okay. And so uh, you're also a German-English translator? That's how I earn my money, yes. You I, still do that today? I get up at four when Germany starts when Germany's work, it's 10 o'clock then. Yeah. So I get up at four, and then I translate until about midday. Who are you working for? Who you Various working? agencies in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland that I've worked with for years. And they yeah. email me or fax me, and then 
I do the work and email it back. Has Sean Penn paid you a visit lately? Sean Penn? Why would Sean Nicole Penn pay Have you seen the interpreter? Oh, no. No, I haven't, actually. <laughs> Sorry, didn't get that one. Sorry. It's a bit obscure. I don't know how many people saw that movie anyway. And you're also here in Sarasota, you're acting, aren't you? I am. I do community acting. I've acted at the Golden Apple and the Players since I've been here. And Is that something that you were doing in the past? No, I actually started? discovered my passion for it when I came here a couple of years ago and uh, just got involved in it and started, you know, working with the uh, theatres here and have since done about six or seven musicals. I'm actually oh, going, musicals. going into rehearsals now for uh, Oliver at Christmas in December at the Players, the which will be there. very good. So come along and see it. I, um, I'm not playing Oliver. I was just going to ask you. I'm actually Bill, Bill Sykes, the baddie. I always get. You, uh, you were also in. Uh, you also did the best little whorehouse in Texas, uh, where I played the senator what, who got caught uh, with his pants down. I was going to oh. ask, ask you which whore you played. Uh, I, I, no. <laughs> well, Cliff, but, we've run out of time. But uh, we'd love to have you back because I think we could do a whole show on you Anytime. talking about your, uh, your history. Well, I'd like to invite doing. Quid Pro Quo. Come on my show and uh, to. talk to my listeners. Anyway. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Stay here. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Thank you, Cliff. Back on the case. So now what we gotta do is get out here and just deep feet. Just walk the beat the old school way. Best of way on an old school mountain. Have you seen this vehicle? No, I haven't. You haven't seen it? I haven't. Uh, where are you from? I am from here, but I used to live in Canada. Oh! There you go. Now that's against the that, That's illegal. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I need your help. I'm the Mountie from the Freezer Show. Ma'am. Ma'am. I thought it went up the building. Up the building? It doesn't have wings on it, sir. Did you see the picture? There's no wings on it. It can't fly. Well, it looks like it has enough gas in the ass. Yeah. Have you seen it? No? No? Abra and Grace? Oh. Um, Parko? Yeah, we need Parko Van, we need Van. Hola! Hola, Manny from the Freezer Show. Have you seen this van? Oh, yes. yes, where? Dunbe. Have you seen this vehicle anywhere around town? You haven't. Well, thank you very much. Here's a card. If you do, there's a reward. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We're going to get that van. Yeah, that van right there. Oh, yeah, right it's there. the freezer van. Right there. there it is! Stop that van! There's no one driving the van! Stop the Welcome back to the freezer. He's hot. Yep. Centerfold Cliff Rolls in the October issue of SRQ. <laughs> look at that look on his face. Sexy. He is hot. All right. So let's bring out our next guest. Our next guest is a biotherapist, a healer, a licensed massage therapist, a Tai Chi Chi Kong instructor, a certified personal fitness trainer, author, speaker, and lover of all people, people, please welcome Chonger Daniel. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thanks so for tell me, me, what what is a biotherapist and healer? Well, well, everybody's a healer. You have all touched your your painful spot or your kid's painful spot. Um, you have hugged each other. Um, so in, in essence, we're all healers. 
However, okay. biotherapy goes into the scientific part of the healing, tries to explain it from more of a metaphysical point of view, and um, well, tries to teach you how to do the healing. Right. Itself. So you do healing through energy? Um, yes, through the energy fields oh of the boy. body. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a little demonstration later. Okay. But let's, um, let's also talk, you have a book out called Biotherapy, yes. A Healing for the 21st Century and a DVD called Energizing Tai Chi Chi Kung. Yes. It's not easy to say. It's, it's, you better be it's, careful. Yeah, it's the it's energizing it. exercises of Tai Chi. So it's not the martial art Tai Chi. It teaches people how to uh, do Tai Chi easier, more of uh, stationary exercises, and okay. um, so the easier things. Okay. So it's for health. Right. So All right. Cool. So, um, and where are you from? Because you talk funny too. <laughs> yes, it's a very European night here, right? Yeah. Um, I'm from Yugoslavia, from a Hungarian family. Oh, okay. That's where the weird name comes from. Do you drive a Yugo? Uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I had to go there. Uh, and so how long have you been over here in Sarasota or in the um, States? Since 91. Okay. I was here on vacation and uh, war started in Yugoslavia. So I kind of got stuck here. You didn't here. go back. Well, it was between Bosnia and Florida, you know, tough decision. So, but, uh, you say you got stuck here, but did you make the choice not to go back because of the war? Um, yes, yeah. yes. I, I spent some time in the Yugoslav army. Oh, you did? I wasn't crazy about it. That was in peacetime. I figured if the bullets I fly around, I, I wouldn't yeah. like it. So. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Something's coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> Something's coming to me. I can do this, too. Oh, oh. Nick has powers. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Oh. oh, amazing, everybody, yeah, look at that. All right. How did you do that? A little something I picked up in college. A levitating <laughs> bent fork. That's amazing. I have been trying that trick forever. You haven't forever. seen that before, have you, huh? No. Nope. Follow that up. Not this close. <laughs> All right, so Chandra, let's talk about the healing with energy. And I understand mm. you, can, you can actually, what can you do with energy? With the, the whole point is... Um, well, everything in the universe is a vibration. Everything vibrates. The sound of my voice vibrates. Everything the planets energy, vibrates. Right? Your body vibrates. Um, we all have a certain ener energy field, which is electromagnetic in nature, uh, around our bodies. It roughly goes as far as you can reach. Whenever there's a problem with your body, um, there may be a problem in the energy field, of course. Okay. So the goal is to balance the energy field. Whenever there is less energy, you may have some less protection. It's uh, people who have asthma or bronchitis or smokers, they all have less energy around their lungs. The excess energy always accompanies pain. So whenever you have a headache, you have excess energy around your head. So what you do is pop a few Tylenol or you yeah. call me, it will take right, me so about... what would you do for a headache? Well, it would take me about two minutes to take the, the excess energy off. I feel the areas where, where the excess is and pull them off, get rid of them, and the headache is gone where does just like that. Where energy go then? It, it goes it's around us. It's, it's and you're everywhere. you're not actually touching people? You're no, just kind of... No. Well, I can, but uh, it goes easier without So touch. is that like second-hand energy? I mean, can someone Roughly, get... Roughly, yes. You know? Yes. Okay. So you do feel can, it uh, when you're around happy people, you know, you oh, feel yeah, better than when you're so. uh, around people who are depressed yeah. and so on. Right. So... Can you do a, mm -hmm. a demonstration? Uh, I understand you can, sure. you can move people? Uh, yes, by, by pushing or pulling on the field, I can actually push or pull people. Without touching um, them, I can also show you how to feel the energy if we have a quick minute. Sure, would let's you, try Would it. the audience you like to try? Um, let's, let's try this quickly. Uh, just pick your hands up as if you were holding a basketball-sized okay. ball. Okay? okay. Try well, it out. Me too. Everybody Nick, in the audience I know you can do that. Okay. All you have to do is if you really, really imagine the ball there, give it a little press, kind of compress your hands a little bit closer and then let them back and then press in maybe an inch let them back what do you feel can you feel that little resistance yeah. have you ever it. have you ever played with magnets yeah that's your hands are magnets can you feel it Nick <laughs> yeah I'm pretending like I'm playing Ouija it's working, <laughs> you can as, as you get closer idea, and closer it? you may feel you may feel more of, of that resistance. Maybe a little heat or tingling in your hands. Okay. If I get a volunteer, I can, I can show you how it, it looks in the whole you body. You were working with somebody so, earlier. Who was that? Um, would you like to uh, try it? Come on up. Was it, 
<laughs> Young lady. All right. <laughs> Oh. Yes, What's come your on. Name? <laughs> Don't be shy. Come on, Zan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Here. Uh, <laughs> What's your name? Zan. Zan. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Well, here's we'll just find Zan's energy field is roughly this right there. Okay. So it's it's actually I can I can feel the field. You can check it out. Um, I'll give it a little press. Yeah, and they called on to her. <laughs> Did you see her? Oh, move? Yeah, so now, are you we can do yourself, Zen, or is no? You're just feeling. We, up we can do. I, I like to do tricks. You know, I ask people if they were ever pulled by their noses before. So we'll just grab the nose. Wow. That kind is like, so freaky. Like <laughs> <laughs> Let's get somebody. Get somebody else. Uh, raise somebody else. Hand. Come on. Laura, come up here. Anyway. How about the whole audience? We can do that Chandra, too. One more because we're running out of time. Okay. Okay. All right, Laura. From our spinning class. I'll try class. to make it. <laughs> okay. So we'll okay. just see. Okay, that is freaky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just I just felt something move. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good one, though. <laughs> All right, let me try one more. Just grab the nose. Wow. wow. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Chandra. Wow. Thanks. We're going to take Thanks. a quick break and we'll be right back. Thank that you, Chandra. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, have you seen this van? Not much of a topic. Alright folks, we're heading back to the studio to tell you we're the road. Oh my god, there's the van. It's sitting in the parking lot. You gotta be kidding me. There's Stan. There's Stan up there taking it easy in the side too. What's he doing? Stan! What? Yeah, bro. I didn't know it was Halloween. How'd the van get here? I had it. You had the van? I took it to the car wash. You've had the van all day long. Yeah. I'm going out this weekend, man. I'll never get I just, I just don't get it. I mean, who, who'd you tell what you were taking the van? Nick knew I had it. Nick knew you had the yeah. van. He didn't tell you. He told me to go to get it, Stan. He didn't tell you. You didn't have a driver's license? I just renewed it. I got seven more years. You didn't have a driver's license. I gotta no. be kidding me. I gotta drive his license. You know what? That's just that's just bullshit. That's just bullshit. But you know what? I will say this: the Mountie always gets his man, and he always gets his van. The van is back. Job well done. Stan, you're in trouble. A couple of demerits for you. Supervision. <laughs> Show Mounty always gets his van. Thank you, Show Mounty. Now it's time in the show where we take over, take it over to Nick for trivia challenge. Cliff and Chonga are going to fight it out for whatever the prize is tonight. Nick, over to you. Thanks, Craig. All right, here's our segment where I ask you a series of trivia questions. The first one to buzz in has the chance to answer the question. In case of a tiebreaker, I go to a closest two, so don't worry about going over or under. It's closest two. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. First question. When and where was the first biotherapy association formed? <laughs> Chonger? No Funny I know. Um, 1999 in uh, Scot Scotland. That is absolutely correct. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 All right. Second question. What year? Did 12.20 a.m. move into its Main Street studio? <laughs> Cliff. I say 2004. It is 2004. Wow. Yes. Wow. 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 
Okay, we have a tie. So we're gonna go to closest two. Cliff, I'll ask you first. Chonger, I'll ask you second. So there's no reason to buzz in. Here we go. What was the population of the United States in 1900, Cliff? Help from the audience. In, um, 120 million. Chonger. 110. 76,212,168. Oh, wow. Chonger, which I think you already knew that, <laughs> is the winner of our trivia challenge. Oh, nice. What do you get from that? Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's made of spices. Thanks for There's coming. Well, Chonger, thanks for coming. Good. Thank Nick, you. Danielle, audience, thank, thank you. you. That's our show. Thank we'll you. see you next week. Bye.